Hey everyone, this is FC7 and Misty2001 and today we are making buffalo chicken crescents and the ingredients are on the screen here. You'll need two cups cooked chicken breast finely diced, eight ounces of cream cheese softened, one half cup cheddar cheese shredded, four tablespoons blue cheese dressing, four tablespoons of hot sauce, and two packages of crescent roll dough. That sound about right? Yep. Perfect. Okay. So here you've got your cooked chicken breast and all of your other ingredients. Um, Just zoom in on that one for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so you open your cream cheese, and of course, I didn't. <laughs> so, but hey, that's how you know it's fresh. Exactly. So I added eight ounces. And this recipe is delicious. I like this one a lot. Yes, I do yeah. too. I love the hot sauce part of it. <laughs> okay, so we add in the cream cheese. Mm -hmm. The mozzarella. Oops, it ain't mozzarella cheese, it's shredded cheese. Just regular shredded cheese. Sh uh, cheddar. Cheddar cheese. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> it's all good. All good. Cheddar cheese. You know, I almost wonder if you could use other cheeses. I don't know. You're the cook. I'm the stew chef. Something like that. Yeah. Whatever the helper is for the chefs. Yep. So yeah. then you add your blue cheese dressing. And again, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I don't really measure unless I'm baking. Mm -hmm. So then you add your Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Yeah. I love that stuff. And of course, I, I eyeballed it. Yeah. It still made it good, though. Then you mix her up. Yep. This can get kind of messy. <laughs> so you might want a bigger yeah, bowl. I can imagine. So there's your mixed up filling. Onto the crescent rolls now, I think. Yep. So then I used um, parchment paper mm -hmm. so it wouldn't stick. Otherwise, if you put it directly on the counter, it might stick. Mm -hmm. And that way it's a clean, uh, cleaner surface as well. So then you roll out your crescent dough like you're rolling out, rolling out pizza dough. Mm -hmm. But there's little perforations in the oh, yeah, this is crescent the one, roll dough. That's the one we used the um, pizza cutter for, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then you've got the little triangles and you put a little bit of filling at the top of each of them. And roll, them up. roll it down, roll it up, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and then... <laughs> Put it on a parchment paper lined baking sheet. Yeah, you can also tear these off. Huh? Yep. You can tear them off, but then mm -hmm. I decided, you know what? It'd be a little easier to use a pi uh, pizza cutter. Oh yeah, there's a pizza cutter. I knew it was in there somewhere. We've been sitting on this video for a while. It's been yeah. in, our, in our video archives. For a while. Yeah. So we'll have to do this one again soon. Yeah, we will. It's a very delicious item of uh, snack. It can be a <laughs> snack or it can be a meal. I actually used it as a meal that night. Mm -hmm. So then you preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And then you eventually put them in the oven once it's preheated. <laughs> so put them in. Make sure not to burn yourself. Mm -mm. And then hit bake for approximately 10 minutes. And 10 minutes later, here they are. Ah, oh, glorious looking. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Might I remind, or, well, might I mention it was actually a really good recipe. Yes. Um, it's not really a keepable recipe, like you can't or shouldn't put it in the refrigerator overnight. You should eat it the day you make it. Mm. Um, otherwise, I believe you could possibly put it back in the oven yeah. to make it a little less doughy than like a night or two later. So that should just about do it for this video. Yep. Um, any questions or comments, leave them below. Please feel free to like and subscribe. All right, bye.